good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Greg Wild. First month of the calendar in the NFL. Had some great games, some finishes that were pretty special, the usual surprises. Now, we hit October, and like you said, this is where the season really gets going. Yeah, doesn't it just feel like on the NFL calendar, every month kind of has its own vibe, right? It's September, just starting to figure out how good you are. You don't even know how good your own team is, let alone the rest of the league. But once the calendar page turns to October, things start to become a little bit more clear. We know the contenders. We know the teams that have a long road ahead of them. These October games go a long way to setting the table come playoff time later in the season. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Cardinals come out. They're led by their quarterback, Kyler Murray. First overall pick in 2019. Wows you with those highlight plays over the years. Off the injury, Greg, the Cardinals quarterback, is once again the exciting Kyler Murray. And while I don't think that stat line last week had him up for any sort of awards, if I had to guess, he'd much rather have a modest game and a win as opposed to throwing for a bunch of touchdowns in a loss. The biggest thing that he did, Mike, he took care of the ball. So as long as he continues to do that, they're going to have a chance to keep on winning. Oh, man. Fuck. No. Right Alrighty. Oh, he drops it. Let's go. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on the secondary and let yeah. them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. From off the edge, Nick Bosa with the stop. Collins in for my 3-4. Here's third and seven. From the shotgun, it's Murray. Let's go, Bosa. Fuck yeah. Leading up to this game, they said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first draft comes up and they fail through the air, and we have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. So on fourth down, it's Blake Gillikin to punt for Arizona. Ricky Pearsall deep for the Niners. He'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. Here come the 49ers, and they are led by Brock Purdy. You know the story, taken last in the 2022 draft. The last two seasons, he has... Yeah, let's talk Niners about that, huh? Playoffs, and it's Four games in with 18 touchdowns. San Francisco. Let's go, baby. Really solid all-around performance last week, Mike. And I think the biggest factor that led to the win is his ability to continue to protect the football. He executed the offense, ran it exactly how they designed all week in practice. Now, it might not have been earth-shattering performance statistically, but they got the win. If he can continue to play that style of ball... It's going to be a tough group to match up with. The NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, I thought I was getting by, baby. thought I was getting by. One first down. Fuck. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Set to go now on first and ten. They run once more with McCaffrey. Damn. He'll throw his way forward for a couple. That's Zayvon Collins on the stop. Yeah. 
We're gonna put the rookie in here. Look him up on a second down and eight. Again, it's McCaffrey. Uh, and he'll push his just way can't break that Dory edge, man. Two. Fuck. Adore Jackson makes the tackle. Put Mike in there. Let's see. Put the rookie. Mike. Uh, let's go I formation here. Third and seven. It's probably not the play. Shit. And some problems communicating on Damn, third man. down, and that's gonna be a delay. Alright, so we need something bigger than 10 yards now then. Shit, man. Uh, I'm going to go with the old hook pattern. I'm going to try to hit Jennings coming back. On third down, it's pretty. No, didn't have time. Fuck. Best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is Damn. you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. So the drive stalls out, and here's the Aussie Mitch Wisnowski to punt. As he's on here to punt this one away. Here comes Jackson on the Woo! return. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Cardinals offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. They'll start this oh, drive on the ground, damn. and it's Connor. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. I'm gonna go Jackson. Put the rookie in. Come to the line now on second and two. They'll go again ah. here to Connor. <laughs> and he's gonna get first down, taking this one up past the 40 yard line. Okay. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table, second and short. Put my play middle linebacker in there. Run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Connor. That lane closes quickly, a pickup of three. Linebacker Fred Warner brings him down. Got Warren. I think that's good, baby. Second and seven. <laughs> I don't know why I picked my fucking nickel. From the gun, it's Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. Uh, that's good. Let's go here. Green lot. I don't know why he's in there. Gibbons. We'll come up to Jesus Christ, man. Three. Let's call another timeout. So we use the first of their timeouts. Holy fuck, man. Give you no time to do anything, man. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. 
It takes me about a quarter to set all my formations up and put my guys in where they're really supposed to be. Some things about this Madden game will never change. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. First and 10. He'll run with the oh, ho, ho, ho. He'll bring this up to the 22. I've seen some light, baby, but that closed real fucking quick. Real quick. Damn, man. Alright, let's put some air under this football here. I need to hit somebody coming in stride. I think I'm gonna hit Jennings coming across the middle here. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Beautiful play, baby. Beautiful play. Block that guy. What? Damn, Debo. Got to block him, son. First down, I know, I know. I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option. Let's establish this run here. Got a guy like this than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a cool situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with that. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Uh, I think this one I'm going to put in all linebackers if I have them. I do. That way it's a major run play here. They can see how close they are there. They, that way they can block. Should be a good run here. They run straight ahead with McCaffrey. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Inside the 45. It's a gain of 10 yards. It's good for a Niners first down. Let's put this rookie in here, see what he's got. There by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand Beautiful. where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Pretty sure I put whatever. That's not that right. That's not. I'm gonna have to call another timeout. They'll come up here on Maybe second not. Down come on, baby, hike the ball, son. One more time, it's Gorinda. and he's bottled up. Third down and four. On third down. Ah, Nichols. shit. Should I go for this, man? Hmm. Probably will. Too close here not to go for it. Let me see. So, not much to speak of in terms of scoring in that first quarter of play. Uh, let's play it smart here. Let's not get too cocky. This one from 52 yards away. Let's go, baby. 
will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert. You don't win points by going for it on fourth, you know? You win points by, uh, or you win the games by winning the points, so. I need the points. That's where the offense will take over. Out comes the Arizona offense. They get ready for their next possession. Before this next drive gets started, I want to tell you what's coming up. I think it was Nichols where I left off on. I'm going to switch him out. I'm going to put Bosa over here. Stick me over there, this side here. As the Cowboys and Steelers meet, it's in Pittsburgh at 8.20 Eastern. Followed tomorrow by Monday Night Football. It's the Saints against the oh, Chiefs. Damn, I almost got to him. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. The drag round is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the 76, 73. The size and the athleticism. Let's go with the Tampa 2 dime here. More yards, but do it after the catch. Now a second down throw for Murray. Pass complete there to Harris. Damn. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. It's a zone read, and Murray nice. hangs onto it. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. They'll try again here. Second and ten. They go play action. Nice, baby. Nice. Let's go. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles when you get beat so fast off the The quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. Now Murray on third and Let's go. And that is incomplete. And this offense just cannot get anything going right now on third down. And you ask any offensive play caller throughout the entire league, man, the importance of third down, maintaining possession, making the defense stay on the field and have long extended drives. It is critical to not only score points, but ultimately winning in the NFL. Feed this rookie here. This drive starts at the 21. <coughs> First and 10. Ah. Gonna give this to Damn, man. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just gonna have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on Put first down. Big boy down, in. That exactly him in. Him in. It's going to be all tight end run play here, baby. So Lyman and tight first, ends. Should be a good run here. 14. Good blocking, hopefully. Here's McCaffrey. Oh, man. And get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. This just shows right. why you can't count on just one guy to take him switch him out He's again. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Third down and nine. Third and nine, shit. Uh, let's go with this play here. Throw, it's pretty. Ah, damn, I thought I'd get through him, man. 
I thought once I caught it, I could burst past him. Fuck, man. We're going for it. I don't care. Fuck this, man. It seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is, and he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch, and even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. Man, should I go for this? This is going to be tough. I don't make this. I don't make it. Oh, my God, bro. I don't make it. No. Fuck, man. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Looking at the sideline, like, coach, isn't the punt team gonna come out? And the coach was having none of it. He says, no. Stupid fucking move. We're being aggressive all day long, and we're gonna go pick up this first down. I need this ball right back, baby. I need a pick. Come on, get off me, son. How is that not holding? Fucking guy literally held me. Jesus Christ. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. Working out of the gun, Murray. Oh my God! He'll get that complete to Harrison, and the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and. It wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch. Cool. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Let's go, cool, baby. We need that. We need that. That's huge. Previous play with a real nice pickup. To then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. What do the coaches say? Just no, play get him. Play. Let's go. Exactly what they did. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Third and goal coming up. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground. Cover two drop. They shouldn't have anything. See how everything's double teamed in the middle? Put this ball in your quarterback's hand and test this defense through the air. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? That <laughs> sucking game, dude. The Holy shit. The coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed. Well, the where is everybody? You know what I mean? Like, you got 20 yards of field. I mean, most you see him running, you don't run forward to get this guy. I mean, and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one to sign. In this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Guys, just stand there and watch him run towards me. It's so fucking dumb. Another year of a shit fucking football game, huh? Holy fuck, dude. As the kicks away. Debo Samuel gonna get a chance to return it. And he'll be taken down as the next drive will begin there. They'll come up first and ten at the forty. Let's go now. Going for Debo in the foot race. As soon as he hits that cornerback, I'm throwing this ball. Gonna beat him with the rush. Oh, he backed up. Shit, man. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down. He ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed. Straight again. And bring him down. Throwing off. No, it backs off once again. Bro, I don't have anything, man. Holy shit. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies. This Cardinals team is playing carrier. some really good so D, that man. Ball pops out. You've got to be honest. Let's try this again. These opportunities don't come around often, and when they do, there we go. You got to seize the Got him now. Now a shot downfield for Samuel. Let's go. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 74 yards. Touchdown. 
Yeah, ninety percent of the time, if he doesn't back off me, those cornerbacks, and they stay with me until I get by them, and then it becomes a foot race. Most of the time, Debo wins. The most receiving touchdowns in a single season in NFL history. Now Jake Moody for the extra point. It's up and through. Let's go, baby. It's now ten to seven. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kicks away. To return is Greg Gort. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense ready to get back at him. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Murray looking to throw. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. Two minutes to play in the first half of a three-point game. Greg and I back with you from Santa Clara in a moment. Here's second and nine. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. He'll check this down to the running back. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Oh, where are you going? Holy fuck, dude. Did you see that? Oh, my God, bro. I literally did a swim move by this guy, and it had some magnet just sucked me fucking over to the side. Holy shit, bro. Look at that. I do a swim move, and this thing just whoop takes me way the fuck over there. Oh my god, dude. Shish. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Out of the gun, it's Mike. After the catch, he gets that forward oh for my god. Murray now. On that's over the middle and intercepted. Let's go. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing is end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. Here's first and ten. I need some points here, man. I need to capitalize on that mistake. Now, a handoff to McCaffrey. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. Pickup of 14 on that one. First down, 49ers. The offensive line doing a great job opening these runs. I want to hit Kittles. There this entire first half, and I, think I don't see anything so far in the I formation that will allow me right here. But it seems like it's way too high up. I'm going to try Kittles here. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Purdy. Let's go. Let's go. Purdy with the dime, huh? Let's go. First touchdown this year. Bam. That was nice. On is Moody to add the extra point. He knocks it through. Huge, huge points, baby. Seventeen to seven. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense going to take over just before the half. It's going to dime here. Down I don't want nothing long. As this drive starts first and ten. 
Back to throw is Murray. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I don't goes. understand that. Now to Arizona. <laughs> what the fuck? The comes with 23 seconds left on the first half clock. Yeah, look at this game, bro. I don't... It's so fucking stupid, man. They made the offense so good that the defense is horrible, dude. I'm in double team. I don't understand. Where's the double team? This guy's wide fucking open. I mean... Holy fuck, dude. But the key is... You've got to stretch the defense and put pressure on the secondary. That's exactly what they were able to do here. They take Dying. advantage and they go deep for six. Look at this. I was in I was in this one right here. Double three buzz. Look at that. Double team. Double three buzz on the outside. Double team on the outside. Safety's coming now, to help. Raiders. Where were the safeties? The Nowhere to be fucking found. That's where they were. He fucking game, bro. Are back to within a field goal. It's 17 14. Very little time remaining in this first half as this kick is away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30 yard line. I get a touchdown with 17 seconds to go. Three minutes, three seconds, I get a fucking touchdown to get right back in the game. It's so fucking stupid, dude. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And this will wind up a Niners first down. He gets this up past the 40 yard line. Oh, one-on-one on one with Debo again. Look at this. Right on the side to me. This game's a joke, bro. This game is a joke. The touchdowns aren't even rewarding, bro. It's, like, so easy. It's so dumb. There's, like, a fucking give me. As long as my guy's faster than their cornerback, he wins that race every fucking time. It's, like, I don't know. Mike, that four vertical route, it puts a ton of pressure on the secondary. But in order to do that, you have to give your quarterback time for those receivers to get downfield. Give credit to the offensive line. Oh, God. And I love how this is the only NFL game that's out there, and they force you to fucking buy it if you're an NFL fan, even though it's fucking garbage. Three seconds, all that remain in this first half. As that one's away. Dorch now to return it. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Samuel going to see what he can do. Oh, he's got room past the Damn. Job on the return. He's down close to the 35 yard line. The offense headed back out. Captain the force. Ready? I'm going to show you exactly how dumb and boring this game is, okay? Debo outside again. I can do this play every fucking time. As long as this cornerback does not back off. I will beat him in a race, and I will get a touchdown every fucking time. Oh, see, he backs off, so now it's no good. Got to go to someone new. We'll go back to it again. Watch Debo. Oh, he backs off again. They continue to get that matchup. This quarterback's not going to show What? His big tight end shot. How is that not caught? Ayuk, the intended receiver there. That guy tipped that ball. And third down coming up. Yeah, you keep doing it until the guy don't back off, and he'll be wide open. 
Right here. Throw it. There you go. Look at see? Wide open. Touchdown. Easy. Boring. You know what I mean? Boring. This is your fucking football game today, boys. This is what we do. He's got 19 on the year. A beautiful combination in the air there. You get four the tries. He backs you off twice. So oh, well. Big deal. You still got another it's try really or two to go. So dumb. Beautiful throw. The game doesn't read that you're going for the same play over and over and over again. It doesn't decide to double team you. No, it gives you one on one, man on man. The third straight play, and then you beat the guy. It's so fucking stupid and dumb, bro. Both teams ready to go once more. And yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this too, all right? Because we're on the most difficult. We're on Madden, all Madden, and that's what your all Madden is six. right there. Now an opening. It's fucking the joke. 30. A good return as he takes it across the thirty. Here's Marvin Harrison Jr. and the Cardinal offense heading back out onto the field. And before this drive gets going, why don't we take a look at some of the leading contenders in the race to see who might take home the award as the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year. Over the middle, it's Harrison. Look how far off the defensive guys play. They made the defense so fucking horrible in this game, bro. Where it's just, you light the scoreboard up every fucking game, both teams. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. That's to the left side, taken in by Harrison. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Throwing again is Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. I don't know. I don't know. That's a gain of 11. And they'll move the chains with another first down. Murray's going to throw again. That's caught by Harrison right side. He'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Running here is Connor. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. The tight end in the running game. He's going to have it at the 12 yard line. Enough to get the first down and keep it going. Should have nothing in the middle here. From the shotgun, it's Murray. But he does. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a Got the middle again. Look at no field. There should be nothing in the fucking middle whatsoever. But not only to pick up a couple yards, you got to pick And that big offensive line clearing space. Whatever. He's in. James Cutter. Touchdown. Both those middle linebackers. We're just protecting the middle. We they seen right out the, the bat it wasn't a fucking pass. Kind of a None of them like running to fucking tackle this guy. 
they all yeah, run away. A little life. Allow yeah, him to run in the end zone. A little bit of don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. Holy Pretty fuck, big dude. Mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Brader on to so fucking horrific, bro. He's got it. And the Cardinals are able to cut the deficit to 10. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. This one taken at the seven. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. As we saw in the first half, Mike, the defense was really unable to do anything to slow him down. He put up some really big numbers there in the first two quarters. Now here in the second half, just doesn't look like they've made many adjustments in the attempt to slow him down. The drive starts with a carry by McCaffrey. Man, and he'll get this I can't get this running game going, man. This, deep, this run D is pretty good on the Cardinals here. Oh, you want you want to see it again? You want to see it again? I'll show you how easy this game is, okay? I mean, I don't have to do anything else. That's how fucking broke this fucking game is. Why would I do anything else? Oh, he backs up. Oh, there's always him there. They back up. You always have Kittles wide open. So it's like pick your poison, baby. It took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. And he can't hang on. Damn. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Purdy. That's caught. Christian McCaffrey. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. On third down, it's Purdy. Oh, man, I couldn't hit. I'd seen RB fucking coming across the middle shit. It's too late. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out Let's go. That's in there. That's in there, baby. Let's go. He two for two. That kick is good. <laughs> and the 49ers add on to their lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Cards offense and their veteran running back, James Conner, set to take over again. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. On the zone read, given to Connor. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Like, this is what I don't understand, too. Look at I'm in 3-4, baby. All right? Two middle linebackers should be in the middle of my field right now, right? Where are my linebackers? Where are my, little, where are my middle linebackers? You know what I mean? I'm in 3-4. Here's my lineman. I should have my left linebacker, which is there. I should have my right linebacker, which is there. Where are my two fucking linebackers? I got one here. Where's the other one? Oh, way over here? Okay. Because they had three wide receivers out and it drew him all off to the side, but I don't know. Oh, see, now they're there. Let's go. Beautiful tackle, baby. <laughs> it 
there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this set occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but it's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Murray on third down. Oh no, get him. Let's go, baby. And he's not gonna get away. They Fuck yeah. The defensive coaches, they preached all week like they have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Oh, give me the oh, juke, no baby. Catch and he pays the price. Big shot to make sure this return didn't even get started. Another great throw and a fresh set of downs to work Let's with. Run this it clock, man. We got a good lead set. here. On the give, it's McCaffrey. And he'll plow. Let's keep these chains moving. I think I'll give it to the rookie here. Give him the power O here. Here's a second and six. They'll give it to Garendo. And he'll take this up nice. towards the first down, Martin. He gets five, but is just a little short of the first down. Here's third down and a few inches. They'll try to run for it with Mitchell. He's going to have a Niners first down. He has it by plenty. They keep the drive alive. Let's go, baby. I think Let's stretch it out here. Saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck Let's go to the other way. There's more really field on the other side. Fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. Run here with ah man, I wanted to go out. I seen it breaking apart on the outside, but then damn, fucking collapsed quick. This Cardinals has a good run D, man. They're they're on. Their tackling's really good. So we are through three. Back with more after the break. Second and nine. Let's give one more run here. Try to get some yardage. Shit, man. Tripped over my guy. Fuck. And what's that one thing you hear from coaches all the time, Mike, right? Finish strong. And he's doing just that. His numbers here in this one, they have been terrific. But he's going to give you a full four quarters. And I think at this point in the game, he knows there's even more yards to be had. Oh, he's out there to run, I know, but we need a tight end. A little bigger body out there, you know what I mean? Let's try to hit him right here with the first. Third and short. Here's Purdy. Let's go. He's got his Let's go. Complete to Thomas. Oh, a game of 13. It's good for a Niners first down. You think back to the first half, like just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down, but so far that has proven to not be the case. They'll run it over center with Mitchell. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. Oh. They're going to mark him inside. Thought Mitchie was gone, son. It picks up 25 yards and gives them a golden opportunity. 
opportunity. It's first and goal. Here with McCaffrey. Let's go, baby. Follow and them blockers. You know what I mean? Score. Easy money. Touchdown. Easy money. Touchdown, San Francisco. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering no, miracle need, stage uh, right now. And I just don't think there's goal, any friend. coming back from this deficit. Booty now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the 49ers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Dortch now to return it. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The visitor's offense get those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. Things not looking good. But, see if we can get the turnaround going here. We'll start this drive with first down. From the gun. Let's go. No, no. Ah, it's picked up by one of his teammates. And this is a big problem. Damn, I stopped chasing him. I didn't think it was a fumble. I thought he was down. Now, obviously, there's never a good time to fumble the ball. It's probably the thing that teams stress the most is ball security. And it makes it a little bit easier knowing that your own team was able to fall on top of it. And at least you can maintain possession. It's pretty evident, Damn. Mike, when a quarterback his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Let's go! Let's fucking go, baby. This has really been the story of this Ooh, they're going game. for it, huh? This rush has had the advantage over the offense. Pretty much spun the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks. Handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield. As Damn it! Team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ball game, and he's going to have a cards first down as they wind up getting 13 on fourth down. Some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries, even on their side of the field, Mike. And we're seeing it so much more often. The days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. Cover to invert. Tighten this line. Again, it's Murray. Ooh, 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 Coverage was good that time. All right, we're going to go to 5 2 here. A lot of linemen in. I think I'm going to blitz, too. I don't blitz much, but I try to rely on my line here. It's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can't fault the quarterback on this one. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Ah! Damn it. And he's going to have the Cardinals first down as they find a way to keep the chains moving on fourth down. This play should always end up converting a fourth See, down. I hate how it gives me coach suggestions, dude. I'm in my formations, and when I come out of it, I'm automatically in the, in the suggestions where coach. I don't need my hand held. The offense gets it done. Jesus Christ, I want to pick my own fucking plays, man. And you constantly put me over there for a coach suggestion. Working out of the gun, Murray. That'll be taken in by Connor. That was not what they were hoping for. See? Coach suggested. No, I need this right here. Formations. My formations. I know how to read a fucking formation, bro. You catch a check down. 
That is for people who don't know anything about football and just want to fucking throw plays in that the coach suggests. It's so dumb to me. to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways. And they forced him to go so far sideways. Like, who's playing the game? The coach or are you? You know what I mean? Inside the 35. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one, good for 16 yards. On first and ten, Goodbye. it's Murray. Damn, man. That ball caught. It's Zay Jones. And he'll get about eight on that one. And most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Cover two here. Three, four. Put in an extra linebacker. I just can't get pressure on this fucking quarterback, bro. It's like my moves. They took away the fucking the abilities of the lineman, man. I remember the swim moves were so responsive. You'd be able to do power moves, bull rushes. I'm trying everything, and this guy is just holding me. I mean, very rare it works. complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. Like right there. Look at that. Oh, down. Double team. Come away with six. Because anything less than that after this long drive would be a bit of a letdown. Swim move. Look at Can't do my move. See that? It's just, he just grabs you. I mean, you can't do anything. Is that not a fucking hold? I mean, I don't know what is if it's not. It's like half the time you can't even do your moves, man. Because he's just grabbing a hold of your fucking jersey. Out of the gun. Again, did it again. See that? Couldn't do my swim move by him. He held me. Trey <laughs> Touchdown, Arizona. Holy well, fuck, Greg, man. The light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops. And Those scores don't. It away. just makes you feel, I don't know, it doesn't feel legit. The game does not make you feel like, oh, they went down and legitimately scored on me. You know what I mean? No, because you had so many things go wrong with that drive. I've had multiple fucking holds where I could not do my moves to get to the quarterback where it left him Even open to throw the ball. Well, it's just not fun, one. bro. They're gonna try an onside it's kick. Look fucking it game's a joke. And they'll send this one away. Late in the game, this is where you see teams really start taking some chances. And boy, this was a big one, but it's not gonna work out. From the 39, here's a first and 10. They run straight ahead with McCaffrey. Yeah, they improved the running game. Uh, the passing now is a little more accurate, more responsive. But now they took away from the defense. It's always something. Whenever they up something, they take away from something else. Every fucking time, man. Every fucking single time. Now the defensive linemen suck and the defense sucks. You're being scored on like every fucking play. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. They run once more with McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. Easy money. in the game as this one is also good. And the Niners will extend their lead. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. Oh, and it'll be brought oh, down oh, past oh, the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The visitors' offense and Marvin Harrison Jr. getting set for their next drive. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. They'll drop to throw. 
Still couldn't do my swim move, see? The only reason why he's open, because I got no pressure on the QB, because I can't do my fucking swim move. It's like, I can't do any of my fucking power moves. This guy just holds me every time. Checking it down, this one is caught. He'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Got by that time. Actually worked. With the first down, so they get a new set of downs, just as importantly, stop the clock. Working from the shot. Got by that time. That's hot downfield by Harris. Look at this guy's bouncing off people like there's a fucking pinball machine. Close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Now, it's the new mechanics there, boy. The new tackling mechanics right there. Again Beautiful, right? And he'll take it on in. Trey McBride. 20 seconds touchdown down the field. Cardinal. Touchdown. That is second touchdown of oh the afternoon. God. So the touchdown was big. This almost equally is big, though. We're going to try to make it a one-score game with a two-point conversion. And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. I know it sounds like I'm being biased, Mike, but I'm really not. Down here, this close to the end zone, especially on two-point tries, the size, the length, the athleticism, and matchups these tight ends can create, man, they are a tough handle, and it leads to two points. What's the old saying, Mike? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And at this point, there's just really no reason to not just continue to target him. He's been running free all game long, and you can see the numbers. They bear that out. It's evident right from the start that they were going to look his way early and often, and I think it turned out to be a pretty good game plan. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. That's what I feel about when I play this game, dude. I don't even know why I put it on my fucking channel. Oh, it's because I love football. That's why. I'm stuck playing it. That's why. Five and oh, baby. Five and oh, yay. We're undefeated. Yay. The 49ers out to punt this one. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. So the faithful here at Levi's Stadium are rewarded. It's a win for the 49ers. 